Hello and welcome Sagittarius. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Sagittarians, what we will do here, we will look at your overall energy or at the overall energy for the months of June 2023 before we then look into your emotional core. Emotional core is whether or not there is some trauma that can go, that kind of stuff, or whether or not um, there is love coming in or whatever needs to happen in sort of that area. Before we then lastly look at uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023. <laughs> Are you ready, Sagittarius? Let's do that. So, the energy for your sign in the month of June is slightly opposing because um, you have the Osprey and you have the Arctic Fox. Now, the Osprey is saying to you, which is something you need to acknowledge, you have made progress. So. Reflect on how much progress have you made rather than thinking like, oh, it's all really shite and it's all really difficult, blah, 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 blah. Look at how much progress you have made. And then you have the Arctic Fox. So these are the two guys you have. You have the Osprey, right, which is the, the animal that denotes that you have made progress. And you have the Arctic Fox. Now the Fox, by default, denotes the fact that you are an old soul. You've been in many situations that were probably worse than what you're going through now and you always managed. But because you have the Arctic Fox, idea is every time they show me an animal that lives in the Arctic, which means there's less opportunities in these areas, less food, it means that you're vulnerable. All the guides are saying is you have made progress, but pace yourself. Don't give in to other people's demands. Don't give in to stress. Do everything at your pace. And there is no easy way of saying this. If people continue to be pushy, your only option is, is to let them go. I don't see any other options here because the point that guides are making is, right, you've made progress, you, 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 you try to sort of please, if that makes sense, um, and um, it doesn't work. Because the issue that we're having is just by default with your sign as Sagittarius, known as the Archer, the Archer which is you, always denotes that you decide how much energy you give to things, how, how strongly you shoot the arrow, if that makes sense. Um, and if you haven't got any energy to give, then you're not going to have the strength to shoot the arrow strongly so new doors can open. So it's really, really important um, to pace yourself right. That is the main message for, for you as the overall energy for the month of June 2023, for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarians, let's look at your emotional core, see what we got for you there. Well, um, energetically speaking, the guides are asking you to more look into, um, it's not the entirety of your past, but at the latest pain, that you can remember starting a while back with regards to intimate relationships. This will flare up this month because it's ready to be released. And you seem to be quite a busy person here um, because they're giving me a dream trap, which means your own guides uh, will try to reach you in dreams because that's apparently the only time they really can get to you is when you're finally uh, wrecked enough to need a nap <laughs> or sleep. So the point is, at, 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 at times, no matter how spiritual you really are, you may not really pay attention. You may go through the motions, you do your thing. Um, all the guides are saying is we have problems really conversing and communicating with you at this point in time, uh, especially when it comes to releasing that older pain that probably has sat there for quite some time. So it's going to be a bit of a difficult uh, um, way to let that go. And the guides are trying to reach you in your dreams to show you how to go about it. Okay, 
So that's that. Now let's have a look uh, lastly at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023. I cannot believe we are really halfway through the year. Anyway, you have the coyote and the horse. When it comes to opportunities, the coyote is saying, I'm a scavenger. I will find food. What the guides are saying therefore to you is, don't stress, right? If the job you're after for whatever reason isn't quite happening or if you have to do a million and one things just to get that bloody job, um, other jobs will come your way when you let that go, if that makes sense. So don't be overly focused on the one thing and don't think this one thing is the answer to your prayers, if that makes sense. Because all the guides are saying is, if that ship sails, guess what? We always keep sending more ships. Right? So it's not that you have to count on that one opportunity that you're after. In other words, when you are a person that doesn't know where to go, but you always follow the same pattern, the same pattern would be, I know what I can do, so I apply <coughs> for what I can do. You might miss out on new opportunities of doing something entirely different. right? And then you have the horse, which is about understanding when to walk away from things. So when it comes to opportunities, you will notice that not opportunity that comes your way makes an awful lot of sense when you really think about it. Right? So if you are in a bit of a tight spot, then anybody can paint a picture that sounds better than the one you've got. Energy here is like, this really has to fit. So when opportunities come your way or when you're trying to, to promote yourself or create new opportunities, think it through. Don't act on impulse all that much this month, right? Because what is going to be difficult uh, for you at this point in time is to figure out or to read what will really work. Right? That's why the guides are saying is, remove yourself a little, look at it, reflect on it and you can already tell by the energy that will then come to you whether or not this is 100% you. Okay, that's all we got for this month. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. And if you want to leave a comment, it would be nice to hear from you. See you all next month.